Good morning, today we're having a look at the SLR CV1600 built on the Gold Coast. It's a steel frame with fiberglass exterior caravan, jacker plate down the side. Uh, this is the off road version, but uh, the only real difference is the suspension. The rest is uh, as solid. On the front, you can see there's a single gas bottle. There is space for a second 9 kilo if you choose. Jockey wheel, electric brakes, of course, and looking at the tear plate you can have a look that it's 1500 kilos empty and 1800 kilos full. Now because there's no front boot there is the tunnel boot. Now this thing is huge. As you can see there's those batteries right on the far side. There's, it goes all the way through. This is really a big space. The battery comes standard as does the SeaTac battery charger there. Running down the side there you can see that it has LED traffic lights. A large Dometic window, LED exterior light, Kamek door there, pull out slip, and 15 inch light truck tyres there. And on the rear, you can see that it's got the spare mounted there, more LED traffic lighting, vent for the oven there. Another Dometic window on the back, some LED lighting, and it comes standard with the bumper bar. The driver's side there, you can see there's the toilet exterior door, more traffic lighting, the fridge vents, water filler, and uh, at the bottom corner there, there's the Henry hot water system, and there's the other vent. Okay, I've just popped next door to have a look at this one with the solar panels on the roof. So you can see there the front hatch, the aircon in the middle, the low profile. On the side there, you can see this one has the antenna, solar panels, over the side there as well. Okay, so obviously we're now inside the caravan. We're looking towards the front of the caravan where the double bed is. You can see at the front of the caravan there you've got quite large cupboards with bed lamps, they're LED as well, and good solid catches. Down the side you can see there is a small drawer there, and on the other side there is the same again. The space below that drawer is of course where the tunnel boot is on the outside. You can see there's a 240 volt power point there. We'll open up one of these cupboards away. You can see we've got a shelf at the top and hanging space underneath. Okay, with the front bed lifted up, you can see that it's on gas struts there. You can also see some of that welded steel frame that I was talking about. It's all galvanised steel. And that really is another quite large storage space. It's hard to get scale. Down the driver's side of the caravan, you can see there they've got the small cupboard here with a shelf on top, a large cupboard here. That space in the middle here where the four latches are could well be where the could be where the microwave goes normally. Control panel and the fridge. It comes standard with a 90 litre fridge, but it's optional for whatever size you like. Beside that, we've got the shower toilet. Then, running across the back of the caravan, you've got the kitchen, the drawers. This owner has chosen to have an oven, but it comes standard with a two burner gas cooktop, a range hood, and overhead cupboards there again. Having a look again now with the cupboards open, you can see the shelving units in both there. It really is an awful lot of space. Okay, so having a look in the shower toilet area there, you can see how we've got the built-in vanity with the shower rose, the light, as well as extraction vent. And down on the other side of the wall there you can see the built-in toilet. You can have an additional window in this space if you want as well and also a ceiling hatch. Okay, so having a look in the shower toilet area there, you can see how we've got the built-in vanity with the shower rose, the light, as well as extraction vent, and down on the other side of the wall there you can see the built-in toilet. You can have an additional window in this space if you want as well, and also a ceiling hatch. Now looking at the kitchen, you can see the sink there, the cupboards on the side here, I'll just run you through those. See plenty of storage in this guy. 
And the drawers are very deep and quite long. So there's all the accessories that come with the new van. Looking at the cooktop, you can see it's a two burner Smurf electric start cooktop. Now looking down the passenger side, you can see a large domestic window and then your seating area. Above that, you have the light switches, remote for the air conditioner and a large cupboard with an LED light placed underneath it as well. Looking across the roof of the caravan, you can see it's got the forward skylight there with blind fly screen. It has the lights, the smoke alarm, the remote control reverse cycle, low profile Dometic air conditioner, and more lighting there as well. I think if you haven't looked today at the CV 1600 caravan, the off-roader built from SLR motorhomes. If you have any further questions, the team here at Fraser RV are more than happy to help. Thank you.